So here's where we left off. And if I can clean up my mess around here, I can maybe do more. So So anyway, I'm back to drawing this Schaefer with effects technol being my guinea pig. And it's one of these vertical striped jobs. It looks like this. Hello, effects tunnel. Hello, Marilyn. And I thought what I would do before I do it on the real one is show what options are available, not necessarily to effects technol, but maybe to someone else. So let's put this away. And we have this one. And this one, and this one. Well, I'm about to get my ass whipped. I broke a tooth today. And it's not going to be pretty. So what I can do is I could add ink wash, which would look something like this. Pretend this is black or gray. You know, I could do something like this to the background and then do some ink wash here, dissolving the ink on the, on the actual drawing and sort of liven it up like that. Or, I don't think so, I don't think you jinx me. Or I could, let's say, effects and all, let's say MT, MJF was, maybe he was a man who loved to fly around town in his person, his very own dirigible. So here you've got the lake by his town, you get some roads going back and forth. Here you've got the big city. And then the shadow of the dirigible is down here on the ground. And maybe there's a biplane here that's welcoming him, wel welcoming him to the neighborhood. Welcome, effects and all. And then that shadow would be cast down here as well. And there'd be crowds of people watching, cars stopped on the side of the road as he drives his, his dirigible home. That could be one of them. Or we could do a landscape on his desk. So here you've got the corner of his checkbook. Effects to all. Ask your doctor about effects to all. And it could be, you know, the pen just resting. And here's his signature. I guess that's not where the signature goes, does it? And over here could be his other things, his keys, and you know, it could be a still life. 
what else could we do? This looks kind of like a rocket flying in, into space. So it could be you know, down here, could be the Earth. This could all be black with stars. And it could be going to the moon. It's not aiming to the moon because the moon is going this way. And, you know, by the time the pen goes that way, it's backing up. You know, maybe that's it. Or it could be, did I already use them all up? I already did. I could just have a line that goes this all over the whole thing. Or I could leave it just blank. So we're back here. I think what I want to do is see what happens when I apply ink wash. But I need a brush and a jar, a glass that is not painted with any other color. And that's how can I find something in my house that isn't already ruined? So I've got these two. Let me find a glass that I can clean. So anyway, we know what this thing looks like when it's in pen and ink only. So now we're going to take my little brush and we're going to dissolve some of the ink. Which will, I think, sort of sparkle it up a bit in a sort of fun way. See what that does? The thing with line, when you use cross hatching, cross hatching is a little, it's like, imagine what would computers be like if they went, counted to two? Wouldn't they even be better? They just know ones and zeros, but what if they knew one and two, zero and one and also two? We'd be on the moon again. You know, I know that that's not how computers work, but when you're dealing with, what do you call this? Pen and ink, ink wash, I mean, uh, pen and ink, the line work is really, if I'm drawing a building and I'm trying to draw the building, you know, like the back of the a $20 bill, I, the $20 bill, you know, a line on the $20 bill could be the line of a window, the edge of a window, it could be the edge of a column, it could be the sh cross hatchy lines making the shadow of a tree uh, but it's all done with the same vocabulary of lines and they can be somewhat restrictive this is very weird <laughs> what's happening here There's little dots. I don't know what it's like. It's like the pen 
the drawing, the paper as measles or something. I don't know if that's coming from the their little specks of ink. No, see, they they appear suddenly. It's not like they exist before. It's like they're not there now, but they they show up later. So it's this paper is really weird. It's um, the paper has like imperfections in it or something. Sorry, Mitch. Okay, we go up here to the initials. Which are on a silver band, metal band. And then we go up to the cap. There's the white dot up there. It's really weird. This paper is very weird. These little dots, it's like little pimples or something. Yeah, they do. I mean, the, they liven up the, the stripes, the you know, because of you're dealing with all sorts of areas of gray, um, you're, you're, it's, it's suddenly more lively, I guess. The other thing is the color of the ink, you know, it's Waterman black ink, but Waterman black ink is, you know, when you add water to it, it dissolves into other other colors. So if I were to do the entire thing gray, background in gray, then the then the white will really pop. So that's what we're gonna do. Except, how are we going to do this, Pierre Gustafson? Because this paper is so weird. <sighs> okay, we're going to do this. We're going to throw some of this water out on the floor. We're going to take this much ink in the brush, put it in the water. Mix it up. It's not enough ink. Well, this will be enough. So now, the background, and you can see what's, what, you know, it's like the, the ink is There's little bits of this paper that are, what's the word? It's like it finds little bits of the paper that it can connect with and then it gets spotty. Hey, Carson. Was it you that said that you liked the cutting up of the diplomas, the sound of the paper being cut? Is that you?
Do I need to add more? If I had planned this out, I would have mixed, pre-mixed uh, a large amount of this gray scale so that it was more even. Well, did I wreck it or did I not wreck it? What are your thoughts by adding the wash? Yes, I wrecked it. <laughs> I made a, I got a diploma in the mail yesterday, I guess, came, one came today as well. And It um, there's an area here that this little area that's <laughs> doesn't get gray. That's because there's a little bit of Elmer's glue on that because it came apart when I was doing my diplomas. So I'll take a picture of that when I'm done. Well, actually, you can see it better here. Fuck me. I don't know. So I got a diploma in the mail yesterday and it came in a beautiful gold frame. And the paper was a uh, international, what is it? International correspondence course and he uh, got oh I like their motto their motto is spare time study so it shows the little boy here or the man reading a book and you know, does he have a pen in his hand He has a pen on the table. He has his hand on the book. But this paper is just crumbly. It was very difficult to to cut the paper because it kept on breaking. I'm holding it in my hand and it cracked. So I was very genteel with it, trying to get it out of my face as fast as I could. And here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful gold frame. And here's our gold-eyed, mustachioed man speaking in tongues. But the acid of the paper was just being eaten away, and I just used the the back of the the frame which also was on really shitty paper and all of these horrible marks are me trying to pull the nails out so i made all these uh, crappy well aggressive marks which work well with his head spare time with nikola tesla is right So anyway, Effects Technol, there is, thank you for being such a good guinea pig. And um, oh, I should have, fuck, I should have taken a picture of the thing before I added the, the background. Oh well, after I did the ink wash, but before I added the background.
This was in our free department today. Someone was throwing this out. A West clock. West clocks. Scotty, I think it's called. Sporty, what's it called? Scotty. Shock resistant. I can open up the back. It probably has one gear. These things are relatively El cheapo, but this will this will go on my my Glockenspiel Flustercuck hanging on a little cord, like a Christmas decoration. And it seems to work. What time is it? 6.11. Does the crown work? I'm trying to push it back. Oh, it does. 6.11. We'll see how well this keeps time. It just, you know, tick, tick, tick. It just... You can just hear that it's going to die soon. <laughs> but it might not. It was made in the 50s, I imagine. Never been serviced. They don't, they didn't do that with those things, I don't think. If they broke, you just threw them away. Um, well, thank you for watching. I'll uh, take pictures of this and post it on the various sites and try to figure out what I might do differently. Thanks for being the guinea pig. Carson, talk to you later. The rest of you, see you later.